A hard scientific revelation this week which should trigger concern and anger across our community. A comprehensive investigation by the Texas Department of State Health Services of the 257 square mile San Jacinto River floodplain identified heightened occurrence of multiple cancers, including lymphoma, leukemia, lung, bronchial, and cervical. Jackie Medcalf, leader of the Texas Health and Environment Alliance, says this data established the largest cancer cluster ever identified in the Lone Star State. Our bodies are toxic soup, and we cannot ignore that any longer. The water, the air, the soil, and the seafood in our community are contaminated. And it should not be acceptable that our communities live with disproportionately high rates of cancer. Medcalf and the community point to the notorious San Jacinto River waste pits as the source of lethal dioxin contamination and the disproportionate number of cancer deaths which have plagued the area for decades. And as far as these responsible parties, they are who I would call irresponsible parties. And I'll tell you their name, Waste Management, International Paper. All the people, including the responsible parties, the EPA, and the many lawyers involved have done is talk while the people in our community are dying. Panel, five years have passed since the EPA ordered a full cleanup, and much of this poisonous dioxin waste hasn't moved an inch, except when storms push it into the bay or neighboring communities. Commissioner Tom Ramsey calls it an ongoing atrocity, and I agree with him. April, you live in this, in this area. It's so sad because we are victims to this every single day, maybe by just ingesting water, by breathing the air in our area, by taking in a plate of uh, seafood. So to me, I just can't understand why nothing has happened since 21. And if there's been <clears throat> sub movement, it hasn't been enough to replicate the severity of the situation. Our communities do not have the ability to not be victims to this. This dioxin, this chemical, it's everywhere. And to, I, the talking needs to stop, and where is the action? Bill King, you've done your homework on this. Looked at the actual findings. Thoughts here? So they looked at about 30 different cancers. There were four of them that were above what you would expect. All four are ones that are associated with dioxin exposure. Uh, the leukemia one was three times what the, the, the incidence you would expect, which is really, you know, quite suspicious. And it is a, one of the cancers that highly associated with dioxin. Unfortunately, the report covers a really large area, so we don't have any granular detail on where these occurred. And uh, so I don't, I have some doubt about whether or not this is direct exposure, like from skin or being in the soil or water or whatever. What I think this probably is, is people eating seafood. Um, large predatory fish, bottom feeders like catfish, trout, redfish, they would be the ones that tend to store dioxin in the fatty tissue of their bodies. I suspect what we're gonna find out if we can ever get the data is that most of these are people that regularly eat seafood downstream from these sites. During the decade and a half I've been covering this, that waste pit has been hit by multiple storms, not pushing out material into the community. They found, they found dioxin in, in people's yards and, and, and where they travel. Tamar Bell, you've been watching this story for quite some time. Absolutely. Uh, my partner has a patent-proven product, and it has been in Department of Interior tested by OMSET, who governs all U.S. waters and what you can put in the water. It removes 99 dioxins, mercury, lead, and arsenic from any body of water. It was tested with water from the San Jacinto water pits because the companies that uh, Commissioner Ramsey called out, he is right. But this is something that can be, be alleviated today. We have attempted to try to get with the agencies down here. Went up to New Jersey, got the test. Omset was blown away by our product, but we've not been able to do all that. This is not just in that, let me be clear, as you said, it's not just what you're looking at here. This is where houses are. This stuff is leaked, just like the creosol in Fifth Ward. It is out of there. And our product even removes it from the ground. It's not real expensive. We just need an oven down there because you got to burn it up so it won't contaminate anybody else. But it's like, are you all going to let that whole area just just kill all those people or are y'all willing to do something now 
Chris, you may be able to shed some light on the regulatory process. There's a massive frustration from the folks about the, the legal, the legal uh, campaign, kind of a rear guard action to slow this thing down. Right. The, the, well, the companies don't want to spend the, the hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars that it's going to take uh, to, to clean this up. The, you know, whoever made the, the decision to put this in the river uh, is the stupidest off. idea ever. And uh, it's going to take uh, literally hundreds of millions of dollars to clean this up, and nobody wants to do it. The company who did it's gone, and it's a successor company that wasn't even here when it happened. And they don't want to do it, and that's why they keep litigating this issue and filing new cases and new administrative actions to, to kick this can down the road. While they're kicking the can down the road, they're killing people. Yep. And it is time for some agency to say it's over, do it, and do it now. now I want to be on the record here. It wasn't the so-called environmental-friendly Democratic uh, Obama or Biden administration that actually ordered the cleanup. It was the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see the Trump administration follow through right. yeah. and order these guys to do what they're told. It's not quick, the Bob. So I want to point out that the reason this topic is still in the public eye is because of 15 years of coverage by Fox 26 and Greg Rugan. That's right. This is very important and this is any news station can cover shootings and, and traffic accidents and they do it very well and it's very cheap. This is expensive investigative reporting and thank God people are doing it. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Thank you, Greg.